Peace. Welcome to Faith Expressions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I would like us to reflect on Ash Wednesday. What is really about the ashes without actually going to church and celebrating Mass? What is really the value and meaning of Ash Wednesday? Is Ash Wednesday a day of obligation? This can be some questions that we can think about. Five points I would like us to, to reflect and understand better the Ash Wednesday. First and foremost, Ash Wednesday begins the Lenten journey. And so the color changes from, uh, from the ordinary time, green, to purple. Because the Lenten season is a penitential season. And so it has a purple color. So also, as a day in itself, Ash Wednesday, is not a day of obligation like uh, Sunday or other days of obligation. Ash Wednesday is a holy day. It is a day wherein Catholics are highly encouraged to go to church and participate of the sacrifice of the Mass in order that there is a formalization as well of your own, of the personal journey of the Lenten season. So we go to the church on Ash Wednesday because we would like, as a church, to journey the Lenten season and begin the Lenten season formally. And secondly, Ash Wednesday is a day of penance. It's a day of penitence. Our two days in a year that by canon law, by church law, there is an obligation for us for fasting and abstinence. It is Ash Wednesday and Holy Friday in Holy Week. And so this is a day of penitence, a day of atonement for sins, a day wherein we remember our sinfulness. And so in Christ, he who has suffered and died for us to destroy sin, we unite in his suffering and make acts of sacrifices, acts of penance in that way. And that is why the acts of penance that we are uh, suggested to do, the fasting and the abstinence from me. Uh, many times indeed, people, yes, uh, by health reasons, you may not be able to fast or to abstain from me. But it doesn't mean that you cannot do other acts of sacrifice, like prayer, uh, praying extra, maybe Holy Rosary, maybe some doing some good act, like almsgiving, because you cannot do the fasting and the abstinence. What is important during Ash Wednesday is that there is the will to participate in the suffering and death of Jesus Christ. To participate of His days, 40 days of prayer, fasting, and abstinence in the desert. Third uh, point, the Ash Wednesday, yes, we say Ash Wednesday because there's the ashes, but the ashes doesn't make Ash Wednesday a eh, holy. The ashes doesn't make Ash Wednesday as if, as if the ashes is more important than what the day signifies. And so people go to church and after receiving the ashes, they would go out even if the Mass is not yet done. And sometimes some parishes would put the imposition of the ashes at the end like after communion, in order that people may not be tempted to leave before the Mass ends. The ashes is a symbolism of the suffering of Jesus Christ because of sin. Therefore, the ashes is a symbolism of sin that must be destroyed 
And precisely, the ashes is something burnt, something that has been destroyed. And therefore, we connect ourselves to the suffering of Jesus Christ, to his passion, to his death, to his uh, prayer, fasting, and abstinence in the desert. Because it is his action to save us from sin. The ashes also reminds us of who we are. We are mortal beings. God created us from the dust. The ashes reminds us of our earthly nature. We come from dust and unto dust we shall return. Reminding us of death should be a hint for us that we have to go to God. We have to go to Jesus. Fight against sin in order to live in grace. So that though we are temporal, in Christ we have eternal life. We have a heavenly destiny. If there is a chance to go to church, you must go to church. So we go there to receive the ashes and not leave before the Mass ends. The ashes doesn't make us Wednesday. It is the faith in Jesus Christ. It is Jesus Christ. It is God Himself that makes the day what it is. And therefore, we must focus on how Jesus has related to us by Himself suffering for us because of sin. And so too, to relate to Jesus, we go to the Mass. Yes, receive the ashes, but do not leave the church before the Mass ends. Fourth, I would like us to remember that Ash Wednesday is a day of prayer. A prayer and abstinence and fasting. Jesus Christ in the desert, he fasted and prayed for 40 days. So Ash Wednesday is a day of prayer. So pray for conversion, beginning with our own conversions. Pray for atonement of sins, our own sins and the sins of the whole world. Pray for sanctification, the sanctification of one's life and the sanctification of the world. Join in the prayer of Jesus Christ to the Father for humanity. Yes, Father, I pray every day. Very good. Thanks be to God. But maybe during Ash Wednesday, when you make your prayer, have an intention or a willful prayer for conversion, for atonement, for sanctification. Ash Wednesday, a day a prayer. Fifth point I would like to share about Ash Wednesday. The heart of Ash Wednesday is the love of God. John 3.16 God so loved the world that He gave His only Son. This Son, in turn, He Himself, for love of humanity, gave Himself to us on the cross. And so, if indeed, therefore, during Ash Wednesday, we are invited, we are encouraged, and even, yes, we are commanded by rule, canon law, fasting and abstinence. We are asked to do something of sacrifice. Then we have to do what we are called to do during Ash Wednesday with an act of love for God. And so let us renew our act of love for God. Because God Himself, His love was sacrificial love. His love was a giver love. His love was outpouring to the extent of giving up His Son on the cross. And the Son totally giving Himself to us in His love for us. So also, we take the ashes, reminding us of the love of God for us. 
of the love of our Lord Jesus Christ for us, of what Jesus Christ has done for us because of our sins. So too, we must have a renewed act to abhor sin, to really fight against sin and cast out sin in our lives in order to live for God. In conclusion, Ash Wednesday is meaningful because of God's love for us. In return as well, Ash Wednesday will become meaningful for us if we also can do what we can do towards our personal sanctification. Celebrate the whole day of Ash Wednesday, making it holy by your faith in Jesus Christ. God bless. And of our Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for listening. And please subscribe if you have not done so. And share this video to others. A blessed Lenten journey to all.